Hello Dollar General friends! In this video, I'm going to show you a tiny bit of footage from the clearance event, showing some of my food haul that I got, and then I'm going to show the pennies that I found that weekend, and a little bit of footage where I did a tiny bit of penny hunting this week. I definitely got a lot of food items during the clearance event, a lot of good 50% off stuff, but I have not done amazing penny hunting for the last two weeks. I didn't really go out looking for the juices and the waters when they went on sale because I knew I was going to be in a lot of stores that Friday for the clearance event. But then I didn't really have a lot of success penny hunting on the Friday that I went. I didn't get to go out for the clearance event on Saturday or Sunday because I had other things to do. As you saw, I did find a couple of the older surprise pennies, some of the diet pills and things of that nature that were a penny. I did find some brown dots during the clearance event that were a penny. Of course, those went back to full price, so I'm lucky I found them then because if I had found them this week, they wouldn't be a penny anymore. I did find a full stack of brown dot plates the day they went back to full price, which was pretty sad, but... I've gotten plenty of brown dot penny items, so I guess I can't complain. I got a few more coffee mugs. Really something you wouldn't think stores would be throwing in gray totes. Not a great idea. I guess if they break them, they can throw them away. Maybe that's why they throw them in these random totes. But I, I was surprised to find the coffee mugs that were a penny just thrown in here with this other clearance junk in the gray totes. And I did find one penny dog shirt down at the bottom of the tote. Had to take that. Uh, I don't know if it'll fit any of my dogs. I'll probably just end up donating it, but no penny left behind, right? Uh, speaking of no penny left behind, I always think it's funny. I always hunt for pennies in the parking lot when I go to Dollar General. I feel like when you've got pennies on the brain, you just kind of notice them everywhere. So I totally lucked out and found 12 cents in my parking space at this store. I just thought that was kind of hilarious. This store, I got super excited. I saw this dog bed. It doesn't look like the other dog beds on the shelf. So I was hoping and I was right. It's one of the yellow clover dog beds. You see it has the rainbow paw print tag. It's got a yellow clover on it. I dug through all the others to see if they were the regular dog beds, they are. Those are the ones that are full price that they keep on the shelf year round. But if you can find the real fuzzy ones with the rainbow paw print tags, then those are a penny right now. You can see I went to the end of the aisle and I realized there was one more up there. I used the metal stake that you put in the ground to put a dog's leash on in order to knock this dog bed off the top shelf. I was not about to leave a penny dog bed behind. Definitely something I was excited to find. With 10 dogs, you can't have too many dog beds. So at a penny, that's definitely got to be one of my favorite penny finds ever. I did luck out and find a few of the juices that went to a penny. Uh, kind of random. This one flavor, the Diet Cranberry Grape, is a penny, but then the one that was next to it in the clearance section is still full price. These juices are super random. You can also check the regular juice aisle and see if you find them mixed in with the other flavors. I did end up getting nine bottles in this store, and I was kind of worried the cashier was going to tell me I couldn't buy them because they were out of date. They only went out of date in May, so I figure it's not old enough to really make it gross. So I was still willing to take it. But when the cashier scanned it, he stopped and was looking at it. And I just knew he was going to read the date and tell me I couldn't have them. But he was just more kind of astounded that they were ringing up a penny. So he did let me buy them. So that was nice. This store, I did check the regular water section to see if I could find any of the coconut water that was a penny. As you can see, you could spot one way at the back with the pineapple on it. I couldn't reach it. I had to get something to knock it out of the shelf so I could buy it. It was the only penny coconut water that I found. 
and I brought it home, my husband tasted it, and he immediately went to the sink, spit it out, poured it down the drain, and said no. So just an FYI, the coconut waters might not taste great, so they might be a great item for donating. Uh, this is the first store I went in this week looking for the purple clover penny items. As you saw, they had that one little stack of plates just kind of sitting there waiting on me. I was really hoping to find more purple clover pennies this week, but I think because of the clearance event when they were all ringing up five cents, I think everybody kind of bought them then and thought that was cheap enough. As you see, I did find one thing of Memorial Day flowers mixed in. They were still ringing up a penny. I've seen some people say that they reset, but they were ringing up a penny on Tuesday for me, so I don't think they've reset yet. I don't know. It's always best to just scan with your app just in case these items have gone back to full price. Um, but yeah, I expected to find way more purple clovers this week, and I'll be honest. There was just not a lot to be found, at least not in the stores that I went in. I don't think I went in that many stores this week, though. Um, I feel like Dollar General was cursed for me this week. In this store, I found this stack of placemats and the towel. When I got to the register, the lady had her kids on speakerphone, and her kids were fighting and cursing on the phone, and she overrode my penny towel to 50 cents, so... Not a great experience in that store. I definitely didn't want to stand around and fight with her about how the towel should have been a penny and not 50 cents, especially when she was blaring her children cursing on her phone. I just kind of wanted out of that store. I went to another store and parked right next to a rusty saw blade that was in the parking lot for some reason. Luckily, I didn't run it over, but I brought it in the store to throw it away, so I kind of looked like a crazy person walking through the door with a rusty saw in my hand. Uh, it was a weird day for me and Dollar General. I went to one store. They were doing some major remodeling in there, so they had a whole crew. Almost all the parking places were full. There was shelves everywhere, and so I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to try to park and go shop in that store. So it just, it was not meant to be for me to penny shop this week. I did find the four plates, the stack of placemats, and then I did get, I don't know, somewhere around a dozen face masks, which I guess will be great for donating because I really don't have a use for them, but no penny left behind and i'm just glad i found some things let me know in the comments how has penny shopping been for you this week i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time bye